What's up guys, Simply Coco here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another speed build. Uh, today we are building yet again in Mount Komorebi. I am building um, in the middle neighborhood, the more traditional neighborhood. I am building a townhouse as you can tell by the title. I just wanted to say really quickly, um, when I went to edit this video, I realized I didn't record me, I didn't record the shell of the build. <laughs> so, um, I had to go back and look at the house on the gallery and then rebuild the shell. So that first little bit of the video just then was just, I just threw that together <laughs> when I realized I didn't have the um, first part of this video, the footage. So yeah, but now we're back on track. This is my original footage. Um, the only thing I had wrong when I went back to redo it was the roof texture. But anyway, <laughs> um, hopefully that wasn't a big deal. And I probably could have not said it and you probably wouldn't even have noticed. Um, but I just want to be honest with you guys and tell you what's going on. <laughs> but you can completely ignore what I'm doing right now with these kind of like makeshift planner boxes because I do not end up leaving it like this i think it looks so tacky and ugly and i end up putting like a few trees and it, then it just covers the entire build so i get rid of them but um i i kept it in the speed build because sometimes people want they want to see like what someone doing a speed build like they want to see like what we do and then we're like, we change it because we don't like it. You know, so, just some people like to see the entire process, especially the mess ups, because then you can like take that into consideration in your own builds. Um, so just let me know just down in the comments if you want to, if you would like me to like keep more in my speed builds because I've gotten to a point nowadays where I actually edit out a lot of footage from my speed builds because when I first started YouTube, I had this like, I thought I just had to get every single bit of the build in the speed build. And I just realized over time that that's not the purpose of a speed build. That would be the purpose of a let's build. A let's, a let's build is more so of a tutorial in a sense. A let's build is more so, um, I'm literally sitting there walking you through my thought process the entire time. A speed build is just a condensed version of whatever it is I have built. Um, and I've said this before in one of my older videos, I just thought I would say it again just for the purpose of, um, since I brought up that I left it in the whole, those planters in and that most of the time, or as of lately, I've been cutting out a lot of footage, but um, from speed builds, not a lot of footage, but just like hallways, hallways that you don't have to see me furnish, um, bathrooms that you don't have to see me furnish. Um, I've even gotten to the point now where I don't record me cluttering very much because when it comes to cluttering, I'm very particular and I like everything to be perfect. Um, so I've gotten to the point now where I don't even, um, record a lot of me cluttering up things. Um, but just let me know your opinions down in the comments on what you want to see or don't want to see or whatever. But this is the kitchen. So now I'm going to get into the storyline of this build um, because I, when I decorate the hallway, I put an object in there that would give away the storyline, but I don't know if I recorded the hallway, um, as I just said. But so this, this, this is, there are two town, this is one townhouse, but there's two homes. Um, there's two homes within this one building. So the home that I'm doing now is the town is the house that's on the left side of the lot. And I imagine this belongs to three, um, three guys who just recently graduated from university and they moved to Mount Komorebi to, um, qualify to be in the win winter Olympics. So they're all three aspiring, um, winter Olympic sports players. I don't know. What, I don't know what to, what to, um, call them Olympians. Yeah. 
Um, fair warning, a lot of my Snowy Escape content is going to have something to do with um, Winter Olympic athletes. Um, so just be prepared for that. Because <laughs> one of my characters in my current Let's Play is uh, wants to be an Olympic athlete. Um, and then I'm going to also do a skier's starter home. Not, no, a skier's tiny home. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, so the guys that live in here, one of them's a snowboarder, one of them's a skier, and the other one is one of those. He's a skier or a snowboarder. I don't know. Uh, I'll talk more about the guys' personalities when we get to furnishing their bedrooms. But yeah, that's the story. Um, I do not furnish the second house in this in this uh, build. If you want to see me furnish the second house, let me know and I'll do it in like a second part. I did have a storyline for the second house though. So in the second house, the one next to this, I imagined it being a family of four where the parents are pretty old and they're really, they're proper Sims. They're really traditional. They're really all about Japanese traditions. So much so that they, their daughter, their oldest daughter, who is actually a young adult still living with them, their oldest daughter is set to be in an arranged marriage. Um, that is something that was once done in the Japanese culture. Some people do still do it. It's just, it's just more rare nowadays. I forget what it's called, but um, it does happen. And so, but these three guys move in next door and maybe one night she runs into them or one of them or all three of them. But then one of the guys kind of really catches her eye and then they start hanging out and becoming friends and she falls in love with him. So now she is kind of conflicted whether or not does she follow tradition or does she follow her heart so if you want to see me furnish that family's home which would be in the neck the townhouse next to this one let me know down in the comments and i will definitely do that um i imagine she would also have a little brother so that's where the family of four would come from but um here i am doing the hallway and this is the object i was talking about i do put the little ski and uh snowboard holder in here for them this hallway since it was so wide and it was literally just a hallway i had no idea what to put in this hallway i literally visit this hallway back and forth throughout this entire build i i don't know if i kept it in the footage but um yeah just as i was building it i was back and forth in and out of this hallway just because i had no idea what to put in there because see now i've just given up on it and i've moved on to the bathroom i really like this um this bathroom layout i actually saw i was looking up reference photos on pinterest of japanese townhouses and one of them i found had like a gallery of photos and at the very end it had like a floor plan for um some townhouses and their bathroom was set up like this where there was there was the entrance to the bathroom led you to an area where the sinks were and then on one side was another room for the tub and or shower and the other side was the room for the toilet so i really liked that layout so i implemented that into this build and i'm going to be implementing that into um a um mount komarevi family home that i have already built um at the time of this speed build but it's not going to get released like the video won't be out for another few days because tomorrow i am releasing part one of the let's play the day after that i have another speed build the day after that i have part two of the let's play and then um the day after that will then be the family home <laughs> so you have some time but it's a really nice family home if i do say so myself so keep a lookout for that but this is the first room so this guy is just really into music and he also likes rock climbing as well, which is why I gave him that little wall mural. He also probably has a girlfriend because I gave him that uh, Moschino stuff pack um, clothes rack that has a purse on it. So that doesn't make sense for a guy. So he probably has a girlfriend. Um, so he won't be the one that the next door neighbor falls for. 
and then this is the second guy's room so i imagine the guy that's that sleeps in this room he's actually he's either gay or bisexual or something of that nature he's in the lgbtq plus um community um the reason why I did that is because I just felt like a straight college, a, a straight guy who just recently graduated college, who is a winter sports enthusiast, wouldn't have a yellow room. <laughs> so I was just like, OK, I'll make him gay. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully that's not offensive. I'm sorry if it is. But that's why I gave him that poster above his bed. Maybe that's like a famous snowboarder or skier that he likes and thinks is cute. Um, so that's his room. And then this is the last guy's room. Um, so I imagine the, the room that I'm decorating now, this is the guy that she falls in love with. Um, he is into anime and he's also into painting. Um, so I put those murals on the wall. So I imagine he painted those himself. Um, the picture I put over his bed, I imagine is some sort of anime character, but maybe he painted it. Um, I'm also going to put some base game canvases up in here, up in here. <laughs> I'm also going to put some base game cam canvases in here that I imagine he painted and I put like there's in debug there's like a clutter thing of just paint cans that are open with some paint brushes and I put those down too um so maybe he recently painted those two murals on the wall these books right here I'm not quite sure what they're supposed to be but I'm using them as kind of like um his sketchbooks um so yeah, everything I'm everything else I'm placing on the wall is supposed to just uh, resemble some sort of anime character. Um, here's that paint object, and here's those canvases. I'm trying to think, what else do I put in his room? I'm really not sure. I don't think I ended up putting an ottoman, um, at least not that one. <laughs> I was going to go with that ottoman because I was like, well, it looks kind of girly, but I mean, it could just be an anime character. But then as I looked, as I kept decorating the room, I was just like, uh, it's not, it's not fitting. So I think I either take it out completely or I just change the color of it. But, um, yeah. So how is you, how is your day? I hope it's good. Um, today I didn't really do anything. It is Wednesday for me. Um, so I just literally been chilling. <laughs> that's all I do nowadays. I only work Mondays and Fridays. So at the moment, so it is what it is, but yeah, sorry for that little moment of silence, but now I'm just uh, cluttering up the hallway. I had to use these end tables I, or, or accent tables, the snowboard looking ones. This is actually the first build since I've had snow escape that I've used those. And I'm actually super shocked about that because I like I love them. I would have used them in like a normal home, like even for someone who wasn't even for like a family who didn't have anyone in it. That was a snowboarder just because I, I like it. It's it's a neat object. Oh, excuse me. Just had a little burp moment there. But now I'm doing the backyard. It's really small. Um, I think this is a 30 by 20 lot. If you want to place it in your game in the exact same spot, the address is in the top left hand side of your screen. Um, so I just did the best I could with the backyard. I imagined like everything I'm doing now with the rocks and the landscaping, I figured all of that was like already there. They didn't put that. They didn't put it here. It was like already there when they bought the place and moved in. Um, same with, same with the fireplace, which is why I put one on the neighbor's, uh, deck too. I imagine the only thing the guys added was the, um, I imagine they added the hot tub and the, um, outdoor dining table that's out there. Um, it's not even really a dining table, just like a patio table, but I do like how this little area comes out. I really like it a lot, a lot. Um, 
which this kind of gave me the inspiration to do the build that is going to come out next which is a japanese garden i built it on the 50 by 50 no it's a 30 by 20 but it's in the more modern uh neighborhood of mount komarebi but um yeah so that's the next speed build coming out it's not coming out tomorrow but the day after so friday that's going to be friday's video um but after I get done with this landscaping bit over here, I'm gonna put a picnic table um, over here to the left. And I don't think it's gonna actually be accessible to your Sims um, because of how I orientate it. If, is that a word? Orient, like orientation, but as a, as a verb? <laughs> orientate? I don't know. Oh, you would think I'm a, I would know I have a degree in journalism and I should be good with words, but I'm not. But I end up turning it this way, but I still don't know if they can get to it, especially once I put a bush in that little grassy bit right there. And then next to the bush, I put a freaking grill. Um, so I don't know if they can actually get to the picnic table, but I do still like it for aesthetic purposes. Um, so they, the, they would have also added that picnic table um, lamp heat lamp and um grill that stuff wasn't there when they moved in but anyway the screenshots are rolling so i hope you enjoyed this speed build guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i will always respond to your comments please hit that notification button that way you know exactly when i post my next video exactly when i post it and i will see you all then thanks guys bye